Don't mind this. It broke. Hey guys, welcome to. Whoa, I was gonna say something weird. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to this video. Today we're doing Marley Twists. So this is going to be like my spring break hairstyle. I don't really have a real spring break. I'm not in school anymore. I don't have a spring break, but my family has a spring break. We'll all go on a, on vacation and stuff. But uh, I mean, y'all probably some of y'all probably have spring break, so y'all know what I'm talking about. I did my hair today. I was trying like a different kind of technique just to try and see kind of like if it would have done what I thought it would did, and it didn't. But this still turned out pretty cool because it just kind of looks like I don't know, like day ten of a wash and go or something. But this is day one. The hair that I'm using is the Shake and Go Cuban Twist Double Strand Cell 16 inch Marley hair and I got the color one. This is like one of those big packs so I have a whole bunch of hair. I just took it out of the pack because I was trying to do something at the time. And I also got, now at the time when I bought that I was doing something different so I wish all of my hair was in this 24 length because I want these to be long. But that's okay, I'll make it, I'll kind of like finesse it. But I am doing like really long, not really long, but fairly long. I'll, anything I do, like braids, twists or something, it has to be to my butt. It can't be anything less. So I got, I bought some more hair because I didn't think that this might be enough. I don't know, but I just got two more packs of the same brand, been in 24 inch, and I got um color one in all of my hair so i have that jumbo pack and then i have two packs so i guess that's kind of like having five i'm going to be using some shine and jam extra hold and as well as probably some kind of like cream or leave-in i just haven't gotten it yet but just for a little bit of moisture and um i also got almost forgot to mention this um F27 613 blend Marley hair because I'm thinking of doing like a little a little sum sum you'll see when I get there <laughs> yeah I'm just going to be doing them like a medium size originally I I saw this picture like months ago and I was like oh when I do my Marley twist they are going to look like this okay. yeah this size and hers I would say are like medium large size that maybe I want them like a little bit smaller like I don't know so I'm just gonna kind of see how it goes I think I'm just gonna do the braid all the roots I was gonna do the invisible root method and I feel like it'll go a little faster um, I've got some shows to watch some music to listen to <laughs> water just just in case I have some um, buttercream and the gel this is the 24 inch Marley twist and I'm taking two 16s <clears throat> and folding them over each other like this to kind of make it the same length as the 24 I'm not making these are gonna be like really natural and messy i'm not doing box parting i'm gonna do like the ovally kind just because when it when it when i try to make perfect parts i obsess over it and it makes the hairstyle take way longer i'm gonna test out the sizing of like this part with this amount of hair and see how it looks and then and then we'll get started because i don't know i don't know how big i should make I think this is pretty okay I'm gonna go ahead and keep going I'm just spraying a little water adding a little cream and then adding the jam to like the roots and stuff but other than that we're gonna go ahead and get this show on the road I've got the ratio down I did two in the back and they just weren't looking right right so I had to come to the front like I thought I should have done and I like this better it, it looks the same all the way down this one looks thick and then skinny. I don't like that. I don't like that, you know. I don't know, but like Loki, I want to take a break now, so I think I'm. I think I would do that. I took a 
took a long break to go on app or back mini tutorial okay this is what i'm doing rising y'all it's like the morning time and look how much i've done barely anything with the size of my head i realized like i'm so slow because i'm so tender-headed like, i'm extremely tender-headed so i cannot bear to like move fast because it hurts really bad this is the fun part i got the this blonde color which i really like because this is like the only brand that had this 27 613 mix they either they had a 27 to 613 like ombre but that ends were too were too six too much 613 i thought this would be a good color because i feel like a blonde that matches your skin tone is really good like if you need if you're questioning like what kind of blonde to do for like anything does it match your skin tone is it the same kind of undertone like that so this is like a brown that kind of looks like my skin and I'm going to do like a patch of blonde. This is the brand of this hair. It's F F27 and 613. Hopefully this looks cool and not like ratchet, but ratchet's fine too. <laughs> but it's okay. Yeah, this is probably just enough. I like the the way this is this texture is it's cute. Not sure how I feel about it. I don't know how I feel about it, so I don't want to do a whole bunch of them. I'm going to come back to the front and start on the back. Um, yeah, I'm just very indecisive. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna take a break and resume um, like later on this evening because I'm low-key like almost done I'm, I'm probably like halfway done I'd say just because my head is big in this you think it's not a lot but that's the part that gets you but I've done the back like two layers in the back and I just looked at it and it doesn't look that bad like the parting because I wasn't looking I'm still trying to see I'm still trying to see if I want this blonde like now that I kind of have some more I'm kind of might be kind of feeling it but if I like I think I'm gonna do it and if I don't like it I could always just change it out because I think I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna have extra hair so I think I'm gonna do it and if I'm like oh I hate it then y'all will see me change it anyways so yeah <laughs> run run run
Mama said come home before the street lights do Ice cream on my front porch and my new boo boo And my A1s too my second to last one how exciting today is um the next morning it's tuesday so i started sunday night and i'm finishing up tuesday morning i could have um finished last night but i fell asleep like i took a break and then i fell asleep i'm done <laughs> okay i'm finished so relieved oh my gosh I bought some beads from the beauty supply. I'm gonna clean up my all this stuff and I'm gonna get ready and stuff and then we're gonna put the beads on. Yes. Oh, and before I forget, I have a little bit of the second pack of 24 inch that I bought and I have one thing of the 16 inch. Like this pack came with three of these. And I have one full one like I didn't even touch it and then I have a little bit of that blonde left so I think I said I bought like I kind of bought five packs of hair and like one of the blonde I would say I probably use like three four four packs like if I had just bought regular packs I would have only needed four I'm um, so about to dip these real quick because I can't forget about that okay turn it off I already have them in this ponytail so that works out have a towel if you don't know the dipping just makes it i'm sure everybody knows this like you just dip your hair but it just makes them move a little bit better and i'm specifically like on marley twist it kind of makes them stick together a little bit less <laughs> hi guys i'm back to finish up this video i finished my hair today's wednesday I finished my hair yesterday morning. I wanted to add some beads and stuff. I've worn it plain like this for two days. And I just wanted to add some beads. I bought some the other day. I honestly probably shouldn't have because I end up never putting the beads on. So I've kind of accumulated a lot of beads and I've never really used the beads. Of course, you already know where I got my stuff from. That's the beauty supply. I got some wooden ones. I got some of these flower ones. I thought these were kind of cute. <laughs> They look like that. <laughs> I got some uh, long brown ones or some shells. And I also got this the little, this thing, this threader thing. I don't know how to use it though. I also have these brown ones. And I have like a few of these white wooden ones that look like this. And I have a bunch of thread. Okay, so I'm gonna do this one. Do you put it through here? You put the beads on first, and then you put your hair through here, and then you push them down. Okay, I think that's how you do it. Oh my gosh, wait. That's kind of cute. Let's see how far I can push it up. Not very far. Oh wait, hold up. Hold up. I was not expecting these to go all the way up. Oh, I'm so happy about that. I made them small enough. Wow. I like that. 
Okay, and then, I mean, I feel like they're not really going anywhere. I think I'll take a rubber band and knot it. Yeah, let me get my rubber band. So I got some rubber bands that I think I'll just tie it at the end and make it like a stopper so it doesn't move. So they don't fall off. done I just tried adding some thread but I don't want to add that I don't want to add thread because I'm not really liking how it looks and the shells that I got I just got like a little pack of them did I show you these all right some little shells and they're smaller so I can't fit like a rubber band through it I can't fit the thingy through it this is pretty much the gist I tried getting a nice variation so you can see that there's beads At every angle so I think I'll finish adding them but I just want to make sure I finish up this video because it's getting late but yeah this is how long they are they're kind of uneven like some of them are a little too long but I thought that might match the organic feel of them so I hope y'all enjoyed coming along doing my Marley twists with me let me know how y'all like them yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.